welcome back to another declutter video. Today we are going to be decluttering my highlighters. Uh, short disclaimer, I don't think I'll be getting rid of a lot of these because I love most of my highlighters, but I am going to try to narrow it down a little bit because I feel like there are definitely some things in here that I just don't reach for that much. So without rambling for too long, I think we should just get into it. If you're here for free makeup, you should just go somewhere else because I'm not going to send you anything. So let's get into this. So the first thing that I have here is a highlighter from Winky Lux. I got this from a friend of mine. This is called Celestial and this is what it looks like. I think that this is just too dark for me. Um, I just, I never reach for these kind of highlighters like the champagne ones. So I am going to find a new home for this because I just never reach for it. It's also really not all that intense. So I'm going to be getting rid of that. So we're off to a good start here. Next up we have a palette from Bella Pierre. This is a glowing palette. I think I got this in a Tri Beauty box or something like that. Here's what the palette looks like. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of different shades in it. This one is kind of messed up. So this is probably the only one that I would actually use as a highlighter. Let me see if I can swatch this. And this is quite nice, but it's just... I never reach for palettes like this. I never reach for face palettes to use just a highlighter. So I am going to get rid of this. Also, this one right here just really annoys me because it's messed up. So yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say about this. I It's not really meant for all skin tones either, so... There's just a lot of these that I'm not going to be able to wear, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this on to someone else. And here's me saying I won't be getting rid of a lot of stuff, and then I got rid of the first two things that I pointed out. So I think we should move on. I'm going to make sure I have clean fingers so we can do some more swatches here. So next up I have one from Bobbi Brown. This is pink glow highlighting powder. So I bought this a very, very long time ago, and this was probably one of the first highlighters I ever bought. And I went into Sephora and I kind of looked around and apparently I was in a bougie mood that day and I wanted to get something expensive. So, I mean, this is really, really pretty. I like this a lot. It's, I don't know. It's not something that I really reach for that often, but I, I really like the shade of this and I do want to get more use out of it because it looks really nice on my skin tone. And it's also more intense than I thought it was going to be, which is kind of nice because looking at this... And knowing that it's Bobbi Brown, I didn't really expect this to be super intense. So I am going to keep this around for a bit longer and try to get some more use out of it because, I mean, it was expensive. So I am going to hang on to this even though it's not my favorite highlighter of them all. So here is a liquid highlighter from Tarte. This is something that I never really use. I did use it once last year, I think, when we were going to some kind of a festival. And I kind of used it on my body and it looked really nice. So... Maybe I should keep it around for that purpose. Uh, I never use these kind of highlighters on my face, but since this is the only one that I have in my collection, I feel like I should keep it around because I might end up using this, especially now with summer coming up as well. You know, I might have a day where I'm like, let's put on some body highlighter, even though it's something I never do. But I'm going to hang on to this because, like I said, I might actually use this at some point. So this is my only Ofra highlighter, and this is Pillow Talk. I'm sure you have all seen this. Um, personally... I don't really get the hype. I know that's a very unpopular opinion and I know a lot of people love this and like it's their holy grail. It's pretty, I don't know, it's just I don't think it looks that good on my skin personally. I feel like maybe it's a little bit too light and too icy. I'm gonna keep trying it though because I don't want to give up on this quite yet because it's a beautiful highlighter and I do think that this would look really good with specific looks so even though I don't love this, it is so new to my collection and I've probably only used it about three or four times. So I'm going to hang on to this because I do want to try it more and try to get some more use out of this. I'm not ready to part with this yet because I just think it's really pretty. This on the other hand is a highlighting palette that I got from H&M Beauty. As you can see, it's got three kind of holographic colors in it and let's see if I can swatch these. They don't swatch very well and I probably have something else on my fingers right now. Not sure how well you can see this, but they're, I mean, they're pretty. So I do want to give these a fair chance because I haven't really played with them that much, but they are really pretty. I just found that when I put them on my face, they were a bit powdery and didn't show up that well. So maybe I need to try these wet or something and see if that could help them stand out because I like the concept of this. I think these are really cool and I do like colored highlighters. So I'm going to hang on to this for a while longer, give this a fair chance before I make a final decision. Like I said, this is very new to my collection, so I don't want to make any hasty decisions here. So let's talk about this Naked Cosmetics palette. This is something that we got in BoxyCharm. I think last year it was also in my, what was it, July favorites last year, like in my first video that I ever made or one of my first videos. 
and I said how much I love this palette. And I still really like this palette. It just really annoys me that one of the, sh oh, like all of the shadows in here are just loose. <sighs> Look at that. So it's just a mess and it's really annoying because I feel like every time I pick it up, I just forget and then I just fall out of the pan. So maybe I need to get some glue or something and glue these back into the pan. I wonder if these are magnetic. I wonder if I can put these into a magnetic palette. You know what? Let me try that. Doesn't look like they're magnetic though. I feel like it's just going to be glue, but I'm gonna try it. So here is a empty magnetic palette that I have and that does not do anything. So I think what I'm going to do, because I do have some magnetic stickers, I think I'm going to actually take these out of the packaging and then put them in here uh, because this packaging here is just really annoying me. So I'm going to hang on to it though. And like I said, I'll probably put this in here afterwards because it'll take up less space too. So I'm going to hang on to this because I really, really like these highlighters and these are the perfect inner corner shadows too. So I love using them for that. And this one here is just so beautiful. I love this. So I'm going to hang on to this. Now let's talk about some of my absolute favorite highlighters at the moment. And this is the kind of shade that I'm absolutely obsessed with right now. This is Pinch Me by Colourpop. And it's one of their Super Shock highlighters. I don't really love this formula that much. But I, I mean, just look at that. That is so stunning. I'm not sure how you can really see the reflectiveness of this. But it's, it's everything. And so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. And along the same lines. And basically the same color is my Smashbox highlighter. This is their crystallized highlighter. If you haven't already seen this. I mean, this packaging is just... It's so pretty. It's stunning. So here's what the highlighter itself looks like. Let me swatch this for you next to the Colourpop one. I feel like these could be pretty similar to being dupes. Uh, maybe not. I feel like the Colourpop one has a little bit more purple in it, but you know, you get the idea. It's the same kind of thing. So definitely going to be keeping this because I love this. And then the other one that is like also very, very similar is one of my highlighters in the Highlight Palette by uh, Lime Crime. This is in the shade Opal, so it's got three highlighters in it. I love this palette so much. So this shadow right here, is it even called a shadow as a highlighter? I guess just this highlighter is so pretty. It's a little bit chunky because I swatched it too hard, but if you put it on the skin, it's just got like the most beautiful shift to it. So you can see that all of these are pretty similar, except this one has a bit more of a peachy shift instead of a pink shift, but I just, I love all of these so much. And the other two shadows in here, why do I keep saying shadows? I don't know. but. The rest of these are also so pretty. And I love that all of these work on my skin tone, so I will for sure be keeping this, and this is one of my current favorite highlighters, so I love this. This is a Bronze and Brighton palette by Pure. We got this in BoxyCharm last year. Uh, the highlighter in here is really, really pretty. I don't think I'm going to keep this palette, though, just for the highlighter alone, because I also don't really reach for kind of golden highlighters that often. I guess this is more of like a champagne, but I still, it's the kind of color that I don't really reach for that much. I've been a lot more into colored highlighters lately, and I'm a huge fan of like pink highlighters. I think those are stunning too. So I am going to give this away to someone and see if someone can get better use out of this because it's a really good palette, but I just don't find myself ever using the other two shadows. And I've said this before that if there's a highlighting shape in a face palette, I never reach for that face palette just for the highlighter. So yeah, I'm going to gift this to someone else that's going to get more use out of it. Next up, this was one of my yearly favorite purchases of last year, and this is my Dior Highlighting Palette. I love this. This is so beautiful, and I feel like it's so classy. It's not like super intense, but it's also just got, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain this, but the formula on this is just so smooth. It never over applies and you can keep building on it and it will keep getting more intense and just layers beautifully and it never looks like it's too much. I just love this and I love that I can kind of mix the shades. I can mix the pink with the white one and then make a bit of a lighter pink. I can also use the pink as a blush topper, which I absolutely love. And I can mix these two and get a really nice like light champagne shade, which like I said, I don't use that that often, but it's nice to have the option and I just... I love this palette so much. This is what I bring when I travel because it's basically all I need. So 100% keeping this. I think this was worth all of the, what was it, $45 that I paid for this. Regardless, I love this. This is my little baby. 
Now this one right here is one that I got in this month's BoxyCharm and as you can see a lot of the things that I've bought that I don't really love are items that I've gotten in BoxyCharm. I'm pretty good at knowing if I like something when I buy it so that is why a lot of the things from BoxyCharm are just not my favorites. So I have yet to try these because I don't really understand what I would do with these. I mean I feel like this is supposed to be a an all-inclusive highlighting palette and I've said this so many times but I think that is the stupidest idea in the world and no one will be able to use all of the shades in the all-inclusive highlighting palette. I think that they should just always make them for you know different skin tones because this is just stupid like no one's gonna use a kind of shimmery dark shade like this as a bronzer like that would just not work you know like I don't know. I guess some people could use them as eyeshadows, but the only one that I've tried in here is the Mary Luminizer. And I know that this one has been a very popular highlighter on YouTube for a long time, but I haven't been into makeup for that long, so I wasn't around when the hype of this was real, so this was my first experience with this. And given that this is a very old highlighter compared to a lot of the other ones that I have, I didn't find the formula to be anything that special. But I still think it's a beautiful highlighter and I almost want to keep it just for this shade right here. And what I'm going to do is I might try to deep pop this at some point and put this into like a Z palette or something. So I'm going to hang on to this palette just for that shade because I think it's actually really, really nice. And I kind of get the hype if I'm being honest. But the other two here, I just don't think that I will ever use this. I feel like this is going to be too dark for me. Yeah, that's a very weird shade. That's not something that I would ever use as a highlighter. I'm not even sure if you can really see any of these properly with this lighting, but yeah, I I, I don't think I'll ever use these two, but this one's really nice. Let me pull this in a bit closer so you can see what we have to work with here. So I'm going to start with this one because this is one that I'm a little bit unsure about and I definitely want to swatch this. This is a highlighting palette by Laura Geller, I'm pretty sure. No, Laura Mercier. Why do I switch up these two names all the time? But this is what the palette looks like. Why did you buy this, you may ask? And honestly, I don't really have a good answer for you because I don't know why I bought this, to be honest. The only shadows or the only colors that I can really use in this is the pink and also this one up here. So let me just swatch these two. So as you can see, they're not really even that intense. I'll swatch the other two as well. This one I've used as a blush chopper before and it's pretty, but this palette is just very lackluster. It's really not all that special at all. And I very much regret buying this and I feel bad for decluttering it because it was expensive and now I'm kind of like I don't want to give it away, I don't want to do anything with it because I don't, you know, I spent my money but I shouldn't think of it like that and I'm gonna get rid of this because I never use it, I don't like it, I don't think it's very good, it's not something that I will ever reach for so I'm gonna pass this on to someone else that will probably get some more use out of this, maybe I'll even clean it up with it because this is so powdery. Look at me cleaning my palette. See, that looks so much better. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to someone else who might be getting some better use out of this because it's, you know, it's an expensive palette and it's really pretty too. I like the packaging; it's nice and sturdy. So I'm going to see if I can find a new home for this because I think someone else will appreciate this more than I do. This one is one that I'm very torn on, and this is a highlighter that I got in my Jeffree Star mystery box or bag, Valentine's box, unboxing, I don't even know what that thing was called. I will link that up in the corner if you want to check that out, but it's a pretty old video. But this is one of his Supreme Frosts in the shade Frozen Peach. I was expecting this to be a lot more intense than it is, but it's very, very lackluster, honestly. And I just, I don't really get this, it just doesn't do anything. I found that I can use this if I spray it, but I really don't like to apply sprayed highlighters because I find that they just don't really blend out. They just go on your skin the way, you, exactly where you put it, and then it just looks like a streak on your face. So I'm gonna pass this on to someone. I just, I don't like this, which is kind of a shame because it's the only highlighter that I have from him and I don't really know what his good highlighters are like, so yeah, it sucks because this is kind of keeping me from wanting to try his other highlighters, but like I said, this is just not doing it. I mean, you can see it yourself, there's like nothing on my arm, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is one that I have from Becca and it's in the shade Moonstone. And I like this, but I never really feel a certain kind of way when I use it. And that's kind of what I'm looking for in my highlighters. Like I want my highlighters to make me happy and this doesn't really make me happy at all. So I think I'm going to pass this on to someone else because I just, I never reach for it. It's so small, it just kind of gets lost in my collection too. So 
I'm going to rehome this to someone else so we get some more use out of this. So here we have a Becca highlighter. As you can see, I had a little bit of an accident with this, but this is Champagne Pop. And this used to be so popular on YouTube when I first started out. And I can see why, because this is a beautiful highlighter, but I also feel like I have something very similar in my collection. And I kind of want to swatch the Amorisi one next to this, because I feel like these might be kind of similar. Yeah, I guess they're not really that similar, but you know, they're in the same family. They're both kind of goldy champagne highlighters. And I definitely like my Amrisi one more than I like my Champagne Pop one. But since I don't really have a lot of highlighters in this kind of shade, I feel like I should keep it. Because there's a time and place for this, and since I don't have anything else that I can really dupe it with, I am going to hang on to this. Also, it's just, it's tiny, you know, it's really small, so it's not going to take up a lot of space in my collection. So, yeah, I'm going to hang on to this. I'm also going to hang on to my Amrisi one because I really like this highlighter. I think this is beautiful. So I'm not doing great here with what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. I have some kind of maybes here that I don't really know what I want to do with. This is a Tarte palette. I think I got this in BoxyCharm as well. It's called the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lighting Palette. And here is what it looks like. So I have used a lot of these shades. I think the last two are too dark for me. I don't remember though because I don't think I've actually used these on my face. Wow, those are like the most lackluster swatches I've ever seen in my life. Let's try these two. Yeah, see that's so much better. Like those two I really do enjoy. So I'm going to keep this palette for these two shades right here and I don't know if it'll make it through another declutter because I don't reach for it that often. I feel like I need to kind of put it out on my desk for me to really want to reach for this and to use it more. But at the moment I'm just so much more into the more colorful highlighters that this is the kind of thing that I just don't really want to wear anymore. So, But I feel like I'll have a period where I'll be like, okay, you know what, I'm ready to get back into more normal highlighters and so it'll be nice to have this for that reason because I feel like my preferences changes all the time, so I don't want to get rid of something that I don't like at this very moment when it's a good product that I feel like I might grow into later. So I'm going to hang on to this and I also just love Tarte's packaging and I don't really have anything else from Tarte because I don't like most of the things that are in their packaging. So for that reason alone, I'm going to keep this because I think this is a really cute palette and I like this. Now this one is where I struggle. This is Colourpop's Flexitarian and I know everybody and their mother loves this and I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't. I feel like this just does not look that good on my skin. I feel like it's a little bit too light on me. I think that's what the problem is, but I could be wrong. I feel like maybe I need to give it another chance. I don't know. I feel like it's just too icy. I feel like it's not really my cup of tea. I don't know. I just never reach for this and I feel like if it just sticks around in my collection it's going to dry out so I don't want that to happen and I know so many people who would really like this so I think I am going to pass this on. Yeah this is tough because I I shouldn't keep this just because everyone else loves it you know I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this on. This is a highlighter from Wet n Wild this is their Mega Glow highlighting powder and it's in the shade Blossom Glow. I think this is really pretty. I like this a lot and I'm going to keep this. So let's do a little swatch here. You probably cannot see that at all, but that is really pretty and it's just got a nice kind of pink shift to it. So I like this. I'm going to keep it. And lastly, this is a palette that I was actually sent by a subscriber and you know who you are and I love you and thank you so much. And I have tried some of these and I actually really like this shade down here. It's weird because they feel really dry when you put your fingers into them, but when you swatch them, I don't know if you're going to really be able to see how intense these are, but I think these are just beautiful. And so I'm going to keep this palette for a bit longer. I don't know if I've ever tried the creams. I don't think I have because I'm not really a cream highlight kind of person, but maybe I should be, you know? Okay, so I think this one is not a cream, but this one is a cream, so I'm not really sure... Wow, okay. So that pink one is actually stunning. Huh, maybe I should actually try these on my face before I make any conclusions because those might actually be kind of nice. So I think that's going to be the end of my highlighting declutter. I think I actually have some single highlighters. Let me pull those out too because I feel like I might declutter one of those.
So I totally lied. I have more hair because I remember that I had these two palettes by BH Cosmetics that I have honestly yet to try. I've tried one of the shades in this one, I think, and it was very intense. Like I, <laughs> this is almost too intense for me. So I will actually swatch this for you. I hope that mirror is not being annoying. So let's just do these three, and this one. Because I kind of want to see how these look as well, since I haven't really played with them. But yeah, okay, so this is the one that I've used, and that is super intense. Like, that is almost a bit too much for me. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to use these on my face. These two look a bit too dark, maybe, to work. I don't know if maybe I could share them out. It kind of looks like I could. I feel like I could. So, I mean, basically, I'm not going to get rid of these because I haven't tried them out yet so I'm just kind of swatching them for my own liking here just so I can see them but they are beautiful I mean they're really really pretty so I'm definitely going to hang on to these uh, let's just swatch this one too because I want to see what it looks like this is more of the nude highlighting palette and in general I really like everything that I've tried from BH I can't really think of anything that I've tried from them and been like you know what I don't like this so I guess I'll just swatch the lightest shades here because I already know that I won't be able to use two of them. Right, okay, so even these two are going to be too dark, so I feel like the only shades in this that I could actually use would be... Wait, these two? I'm so confused right now. Is this that one? I feel like it is. So probably these three I could use, which would be these. And I mean, these are pretty. I just, I don't know how much I would really reach for this. Maybe I should declutter this one and keep the original one, or the colorful one, I should say. Because I just don't really think I'll reach for this. I hate having highlighting palettes where I can only use a few of the shades, so I think I'm actually going to pass this on to someone else because I just don't see myself really using this. So I'm going to give this to someone else and I'm going to keep the colorful one. And then here we also have a couple of single highlighters. Let's see, this is the one that I'm kind of struggling with. This is from Davina and it's called Fleur. So let me swatch this. This I found this to be just so insanely glittery and I know I have glitter all over my arm here but it's also just too dark for me so I feel like I'm going to probably try to give that to someone else if they want it. This one is also from Davina, and this is in the shade Nixie. This is very intense. Like, this is almost just too much for me. It is really pretty, though. It's a stunning highlighter. I am going to keep it because I want to make this work somehow. I do think I could probably share this out a little bit and use a different brush than I used last time. Uh, but this one right here is one of my absolute favorite highlighters right now. This is by Luxie, and this is in the shade... Whoa. <laughs> this is in the shade Innocent. I love this. This is so, so, so beautiful. Wow, I am just covered in <laughs> highlighters. Let me see if I can swatch this for you. So here's what this looks like. I love this. It's almost like a champagne pink. Oh, I just think this is so beautiful. It's so smooth and nice on the skin too, and I love this. So I guess what I'll do is I'm going to declutter this one, but I'm going to keep it in this palette still because I need to find somewhere else to put this or I need to find someone to gift this to and maybe they have a palette that they can put it into so yeah that's going to also be decluttered at some point because I don't want to keep that in my collection when I never use it. So I guess that will sum up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's count and see how many things I got rid of. I feel like I did not get rid of a whole lot in this video like I did in the other ones. So I got rid of eight items, but to be fair, I mean, three of those are highlight, four of them are highlighting palettes, or three of them are highlighting palettes and one is a face palette, so I think I did pretty good. Um, I did say when I started this video that I probably wasn't going to get rid of a lot of things, so I want to say that I did okay with this. As for the things that I kept, uh, maybe I should count those as well. So it looks like I hung on to 16 items. Obviously it's hard to kind of count these in a proper way when some palettes have one and some have like six in them. So, and I also obviously kept my singles. So that's two more in there, but I don't really know how to count this. So I guess I ended up keeping 16 items, which 
I don't really think that my highlighting collection is that big. I know for some people it might be big, but for someone who likes to buy a lot of makeup and collect makeup, I don't even I know if I should say collect makeup because I do really like to declutter it and I like to keep my collection to only the items that I really like. But I think for, you know, for myself, I don't think this is overwhelming at all and I don't really think I have too many highlighters. So, you know, I feel like I could easily add a lot more to my collection and not feel like I have too much. So yeah, I think that's going to some of my highlighting declutter. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think I did. I feel like I did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching as always. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.